Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be quickly going over some new base skills that the CN server just got. This video is going to be a bit different from my usual content. I haven't written a script for it, so it's going to sound a bit improvised, I guess. Anyways, CN's latest patch, at least at the time of recording, is the Obscure Wanderer event. And it brings two new operators, Winar and Proviso. And both of them actually have pretty interesting base skills. Let's start with Munar, because his base skills are a bit less interesting, and I want to save the best for last. Munar's first base skill gives plus 0.05 morale per hour to all operators in the control center. It's nothing special really, it's the same as all the other quote unquote smiley face base skills. You've seen the same ones on Project Red and Neural and a bunch of operators. So it doesn't do anything special, at least not yet. Then we have his second base skill, which has two parts. The first one gives an extra 0.1 morale to the power plant, office, and reception room. Combined with a 0.25 morale per hour from the control center normally, these operators can actually work for just over 36 hours now. It's really good for normal 12 hour rotations as they can work for three shifts now instead of just two before resting. The second part of Umnar's second base skill basically takes the smiley face base skills and lets them work on the power plant, office, reception room, along with the trading post and factory. So first of all, faction based base skills don't work with this, so like R6S or uh, Team Rainbow and Chen's base skill for example. And Dusk's base skill doesn't work either, even though it does. It also gives 0.05 morale per hour, because if you look at it, it's not a smiley face. Anyways, if you just use Mwinar by himself, he already gives 0.05 morale to all buildings that I just listed, because he also has a smiley face himself. This is a pretty good boost already to level 2 trading posts and factories, which can also work for just over 36 hours now. Because normally they only get a 0.05 morale per hour boost from having two operators, and if you add another 0.05, they can work for three shifts now. So this is a pretty good buff for base setups like 252 and 342 because they have a bunch of level 2 facilities and now they can work for 3 shifts. If you add even more smiley faces to the control center, they can work for 48 hours at a time, but this is probably not worth it in most cases because on the CN server there are a bunch of good control center based skills and they're all sort of competing for room. So if you use a bunch of smiley faces, it's just going to push them out and decrease production in other facilities. Now for Proviso, whose base skills are a bit more interesting, and honestly, she's a bit broken. So in short, orders that cost less than 4 gold bars will exchange an extra 2 gold bars. So 2 bar orders become 4 bar ones, and 3 bar orders become 5 bar ones. This increases the LMD from these orders, but it doesn't actually increase the time needed to exchange them, so it's a pretty significant boost. Also, at first we thought this would work very well with Tequila, but it turns out Tequila's base skill was actually updated so that it looks at the original bar counts, so it doesn't really synergize. Anyways, Optima on Discord did a bunch of calculations, and here are the effective multipliers for different elite levels and different facility levels. So you'll notice that level 2 trading posts actually have higher multipliers than level 3 ones. This is mainly because level 3 trading posts have 4 bar orders that Proviso doesn't work with, but level 2 trading posts don't generate them. So Proviso works on every single order that comes out of a level 2 trading post. Something interesting is that this multiplier effectively applies to drones as well that you use on the trading post with Proviso in it. So 243 base setups might actually get an increase in production if they downgrade a trading post to level 2. To use Proviso in a level 2 trading post, you'll want to pair her with your best single trading post worker. Proviso's multipliers are so high that this will beat almost every team of 3 operators that doesn't have Proviso in it. So for example, even if you just pair her with a 30% worker, She'll boost production by around 146%, which is a lot better than even Jay's best 125%. This is a pretty big boost for 252 base setups, as you can now downgrade your trading posts and use the extra power you save to upgrade one of your factories. 
This is especially good for Max Right 252, as you now have two level 3 trading posts, and it allows you to stagger trios of operators. If you want to get a little cursed, she works well with the Ionized Fear meta strategy that I mentioned in my Iceberg video. Winner allows workers in level 2 trading posts to work for 36 hours, so this would include Proviso's level 2 trading post. And with the Ionized Fear meta strategy, you can have 100% uptime on the Shamari team and 100% uptime on Proviso at the same time. So overall, Proviso is a huge buff to trading posts and also a significant buff to 252 setups. And that about wraps it up for today. I'm thinking of turning this into a sort of mini-series where I just rant about random topics for a few minutes, so let me know if you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff. Also, this channel hit 2,000 subscribers a few months ago, and I've been working on a 2,000 subscriber special for that, and it's probably going to make a few people mad, especially over on Reddit. Anyways. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, whatever, and I'll see you all next time.